ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವುನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕಂಗುಂಗುಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲುಭವಾಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರ್ಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋತುಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂ ಕೋಶಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
नैवात्मनो प्रभुरय निजलाभ पूर्ण मान जनाद विदुषो करुण विनीते जद्यद जनो भगवते विदधीतम तो तछात्मने प्रतिमुख से जथाशी नैवात्मनो प्रभुरय निजलाभ पूर्ण मान जनाद विदुषो करुण विनीते जद जद जनो भगवते विदधी तो मान तछात्मने प्रतिमुख से जथाख श्री गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपात परमांस जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट वी नो दैट हनी वी कैन गेट फ्रॉम फ्लावर दैट इज नोन टू एवरीबॉडी and it is a duty of honey bees to collect honey from flower that is well known to us gauriya goshtipati sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami jagat bahupad paramsu jagat guru said that we all know know it very well that honey is available from from flower and it is a duty of honey bees to collect honey from flower it is not your duty it's not our duty if i give you big amount of flower to you and if you if i give you grinder everything you can make paste and try to get honey from flower can you do it not possible because it is the only duty of honey bees you cannot do i cannot do it's not possible honey it is the duty of honey bees to collect honey from flower but you don't know in flower poison also available but it is no, you do, no, you know it in flower poison is also there we have no information that poison is collected by another insect is named luta kit in bengali we say prabhu speaking i don't know the english it is called luta kit it is a duty of luta kit to collect poison from flower and it is the duty of honey bees to collect honey from flower honey bees honey bees surely need not depend upon luta kit to collect honey honey bees need not depend upon anybody not even luta kit who is collecting poison but still unnecessarily there is some fighting taking place luta kit attacking honey bees honey bees are try to you know defend this is strange similarly in our bhajan field those who are pure guru vaishnav exalted devotees they are collecting honey from different shastras they are collecting different different from different shastras those pure devotees they are collecting some honey i mean from sasa some extract right sanatan goshai pa drupa goshai pa jiva goshai ba na na sasto vichar nai ko nipuno sad dharma sanstapako lokanam hitakari nauti bhavane manno saranya karu who is all this goswamis they are they are going to search out all shastras and collecting like hanivis all important things and going to give it to us but we are so fully so idiot even after that we cannot take it they are giving everything everything they are doing all shastras they are searching nana shastra they are stirring all the ocean of shastra and getting the cream for us that is also difficult for us to understand very difficult that is why gorang mapo going to send baktivinod thakur baktivinod thakur going to search out all shastra specially all goswami grantha goswami books and try to extract again give to us like joiva dharma shiksha amrita mano shiksha all everything we are so lucky 
we are so lucky, we are getting all cream. We need not, only we'll have to follow Bhaktivinoda Thakur Prabhupada, that's much. Win. Trouble, all trouble, they have done all. Energy they have given. All energy they give. What energy I am giving? What energy I am giving? If you see the picture of Prabhupada, when Prabhupada was only 62 or 64, like me, I am 64 now. If you see the picture of Prabhupada, 62 years age, you can think Prabhupada is in 90 years. I mean, going to give everything to us. All, no resting, no prasadam, no nothing, all given. We are so traitor that we are not going to justify this, you know, this thing. We'll have to do something. Because Prabhupada putting question in front of us, on, in front of devotees. You all promised me to do bhajan. You all promised me. That's why I give Hari Nama and Diksha. Now you are cheating me. What is this? You promised me that you can do bhajan. That's why I give you. But now you like to cheat me. It's not good. Papa speaking. So all energy, all everything given by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Prabhupada, our Guru Bhargava, only the thing, only the thing we'll have to do, we'll have to follow our Guru Bhargava and see what is written there. You'll have to practice, I mean, try and try again to get established in, I know, to get established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu is very difficult. But still, Popa speaking, Popa speaking, to get established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu means you are a great preacher. Preaching women, I can go to different places and take one flag and doing big lecture. But Popa thinking, if somebody is established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, in the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, that means itself is a preacher. Like Gaurkisar Bhajima are not going anywhere. But oh, worldwide, anywhere you go, go everybody knows who is Gaurkisar. Bhakti Mahaprabhu are not going anywhere. To get established in the Acharan, Adarsha, idealism, and Shiksha of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means he is a great preacher. I mean, if he is not going outside, still his Acharan, his power going everywhere. Everywhere. It's an automatic factor. It's an automatic factor. Anyway, so the sloka I started with, very important slok. Srila Pallad Maharaj speaking to Nishingodev. Pallad Maharaj ji is one, he is one among twelve Mahajan. One among twelve. Shayangbhur, Narada Sambhu, Kumar Kapilo Manu, Prahlad Vishmo Janaku Valir Vayasa Kerubayam, Dada Saite Vija Nimo Dharmam Bhagavatam Bhatta, Guiham Vishudhyam Durvadhyam Yadgyatta Amrita Mashmute. You like to get Amrita? No? Why you come to me? You like to get Amrita. But how to get Amrita? How to get? That is the main problem. Everywhere thinking oh, we are doing Gaur Bhajan, ah, Hare Krishna. But they have information about how to get extract this Amrita. There is a long procedure. You will have to follow exact procedure through which if you proceed, today or tomorrow I, I put guarantee under the guidance of Prabhupada Bhakti can get it. But main point is that we are in confusion. Somebody speaking this, somebody speaking this, that Maharaj speaking this, this society. Then, wow, who? You are in confusion. Whom to follow, how to follow? We know that Maharaj speaking 100%, but still, we have some biasness. We are from Sim. This was how we are. We have to follow our society. We will have to follow Gauranga Mahapur, not society. Society is material. Somebody asking me, Maharaj, what do you mean by society? Why they think it, why they think it urgent to make one society? I say, society, why you are making society? So, society is a bridging factor. Society means, I am going to make a bridge 
with aprakriti jagat and material jagat. That is called society. That is my definition. Society means it's one kind of temporary bridging through which you can connect material people with transcendental Guru Vaishnava. That is a society. But you make the society, if you are going to make a society for your personal purpose, for dirty purpose, then the then is not useful. Because you know, at the time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there are thousands of devotees. Who can count? Who can count? Mahaprabhu one time, Mahaprabhu one time in his in his whole lila, one time only. Maybe for some hours, went to Maharashtra. Maharashtra, you know, you know, where is Brahmbe, Maharashtra? Only one time. Still today, there are people thinking about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At present, what? See, I don't know. I am speaking about 100 years back. At present, Kali or Maya is too much. Too much influence, Maya. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, actually, that time there was countless devotees, countless devotees. But one miracle there, they never thought, they never thought it necessary to make a committee or organization or society. Why? So many devotees from different castes, from different places, different languages, they are coming. But they never thought it necessary to make one society, make one uh, organization to organize the Seva Chaitanya Mahaprabhu properly. Because they are already organized. You need not organize them. You need not organize them. They are already organized. How you can organize Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasadik? How you can organize Pahupa? How you can organize, you know, Kesav Goswami Maharaj? They are already organized. <laughs> you like to organize them? Foolish. It's not good. So, all their energy, all their effort, everything, why? They are trying to satisfy Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from their heart. One point. Only one vital point. I told many times, yesterday or previous day also I told, if I am speaking slag language to Krishna, I am speaking slag, slag language to Krishna. If Krishna is satisfied, then it is my bhajan. You rascal, idiot. <laughs> Brajavasi doing this. Brajavasi doing this way. Panda. Or Purisa Panda, Jagannath Panda, speaking all rubbish to Jagannath. When Jagannath not moving, huh? Yes, useless. Beating. That is their bhajan. That is why when Jagannath Panda going to offer crude. First of all, when you buy cloth from market, we wash, na? But Panda, they are going to get cloth and give to Jagannath. So Pundarik Vidyan is thinking, what is this? This is not good, na? At least they should wash with Jagannath, you see? He's thinking, it's not good. They say, this habit should be changed. Only this thing, not speaking anything. No complaint outside. Then Krishna and Balaram coming night time and beating, slap. Balaram from this left hand side and Jagannath from right hand side. All chicks, fingerprint, fingerprint, beating. Morning time, when you get up and see in the, in the mirror, oh my God, this was swell. How I can go outside? <laughs> so this is the Jagannath Balaram saying, who are you? Who are you to find fault with our panda? They are my personal associate. Whatever they do, I like it. So whatever Jagannath approve, it is bhakti. If I am doing so many hymns of Veda, so many things, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Krishna, but Krishna is not satisfied. Then it is not bhajan. Same thing I told that day, na? Aradhito yodhi, Aradhito yodhi hari, tapasas tatas ki. Na Aradhito yodhi hari, tapasas tatas ki. Antar bahir jodi hari tapasas tatas ki. Nantar bahir jodi hari hi tapasas tatas ki. What I can, what I can do by exhibiting tapasya, astuities. If Krishna is already satisfied with, 
If Krishna is already satisfied, what I can do? By showing tapasa, oh, I, I can go to hill, Himalayan, what I can do? Krishna is satisfied with me. I mean, Krishna is not satisfied with me. If I do so many astuity and finances, oh, what will happen? What will go and come? What it concern to Krishna? What it concern to Krishna? If I am going to take bath five times in a day, what it concern to Krishna? If I am going to maintain so much purity to cook for Krishna, what it concern to Krishna? If I am no, if I am no bhakti, whereas Jasodama not going to chant Harinam before cooking for Gopal. Jasodama not going to think that I have to take bath after that I can get cream for Gopal. Not thinking, because Krishna is already satisfied. That is the vital point. You should not forget this point. Don't try to exhibit, I am a great devotee, I am doing this. Not that. Let people see. Hey, yes, material people are crazy, all rubbish. Let people see. If Krishna is satisfied, if Prabhupada is going to subscribe me, if Bhakti is going to subscribe me, I am satisfied. Nobody is going to subscribe me. That is called Bhakti. But people thinking wrong way. All my activities, all my activities, all my speech, all my looking, sitting, walking, all my doings, all for the satisfaction of Krishna. That is called Bhakti. You will have to relate everything with Krishna in such a way, very technical way, very tactful way. You will have to relate everything, all your activities. Even your sleeping also become Bhakti. That is very secret thing. Who can apply this point? It's very secret thing. So, the slok I started is very important. They are Pallad Maharaj speaking to Nishingadev. Pallad Maharaj speaking to Nishingadev Prabhu. Naivat Mano Prabhu Rayam Nijalab Purno. Prabhu, you are complete yourself, you are. Complete. Bhagavan is complete. Not that Bhagavan is complete. Bhagavan is 100% complete. Even the dust particle from Golok Vrindavan is also complete. Whereas you and my staying in America, Russia, France, Italy, so much of it, we are not complete. We are not complete. Whereas one dust particle from Navadip Dham is complete. But whereas we have, we are not complete. Because, why not complete? Because still today, we will have to attain the lotus feet of Nityananda. Only the lotus feet of Nityananda can give you satisfaction. After that, go. I am not thinking about go. I am not thinking about go. If go, Nityananda Prabhu satisfied, because all Pratishtha in Sanskrit, Pratishtha is a split up, Prati plus Tha. If one object is eternally present, then we can say it has real Pratishtha. Otherwise, all other kind of Pratishtha, you want to give garland to me, even I have no expectation one garland from you. Nothing. Follow. Even one garland I don't want. You sit and hear I got. That is my pranami. You like to give me pranami, na? That is my pranami. If you hear Harikatha full attention, that is my pranami. But people don't understand. They are busy to give a garland. They can give garland to Prabhupada, Bhakti Chagur, Prabhupada. So anyway, Bhagavan is itself complete. What we can do? We can give something to Bhagavan. We can buy so many flowers, fruits, you know, we jokingly, somebody asking me, some Mataji, what I can bring from you, Maharaj, all the time. I say, you can bring some nut from me. <laughs> they think it is true. <laughs> they bring so much nut. I, in one year, I cannot take. <laughs> they don't understand my mood. Like child, I told you, you can get some nut from me. They got so many nut. <laughs> they don't understand my mood, actually. So, Bhagavan is itself complete. They have no dissatisfaction. 
Bhagavan need not, Bhagavan need not depend upon somebody for something. Even all information in the infinity world, whatever happening, wherever, at the same time, at a time, Bhagavan can know. Don't understand. At a time, now, four, five. This time, Gaurang Mahapu can know in infinity world, a prakita and prakiti jagat. A prakita transcendental world and prakita wherever, whatever happened in the infinity world. At the same time, Bhagavan can know. How is possible? How is possible? Simultaneously, at a time, Bhagavan can know. Infinity world. Who is crawling, who is calling, who is praying, who is doing what? Everything. At a time, Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan is omnipresent. Even inside you. You think you will have to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. But you already get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Bhagavan is sitting inside you. You have no information. You are already getting Bhagavan. Bhagavan is there inside you. Why you are searching like blind? Where is Bhagavan? Like blind, where is Bhagavan? Bhagavan is already there in you. You have no information. Only you will have to discover. Only you will have to discover by hearing Sadhu Guru Vaishnava Harikatha. You have to discover that much. Bhagavan is already there. Already you achieve the lotus feet of Bhagavan, but you have no information. You will have to realize it. Like in a gold mine. Suppose in a gold mine, gold is there. But if I ask you, go and get gold, Maharaj, there is no gold, only stone and stone. You foolish, you don't understand. Inside the stone, rock, there is gold. There is some procedure how to extract it. It is, met it is called metallurgical science. Metallurgy. There is some procedure through which metallurgical engineer can speak you from, from stone, all. There is gold. But how to extract it? There is some procedure there. But you don't know, I don't know. If somebody giving a piece of rock, it's gold, Maharaj, earth, useless. It's stone. <laughs> we cannot understand. So this is the procedure. Gold is there, but we don't understand. Bhagavan is there inside you, don't understand. You will have to discover Bhagavan. You have to follow some specific procedure through which if you approach today or tomorrow, hundred, hundred, hundred percent, you can get Bhagavan. But that much faith you should have. My Gurudev is Siddha Mahatma. I must get Bhagavan. Faith in Bhagavan, faith in Guru Vishnu, faith in Dham, faith in Nam can give you advantage. But we have no faith. We believe Guru Vishnu, not 100%. Oh, maybe 80% will be. Some problem can be there. That is why we are not getting success. 100% we don't have. We believe Guru Vishnu. It's true. But not 100%, 80%. Or maybe 90%. That's why we are not getting success. That is the main problem. That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur praying. That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur praying unto the lotus feet of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. That Prabhu, you arrange the situation in such a way in my life so that I can increase my bhakti every fraction of second. Vaishnava Vishas Vidhi Ho Khane Khane. You open the kirtan book. Vaishnava Vishas, Vishas means faith. Vaishnava Vishas Vridhi. I like to increase my faith unto the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. That is called Siddhi. Siddhi doesn't mean some miracle. Siddhi means Bhajan Siddhi means Bhajan Siddhi means Sheva Siddhi. What do you mean by Siddhi? What do you mean by Siddhi? Siddhi means Siddhi means bhajan siddhi. Siddhi means bhajan siddhi means seva siddhi. He who is all the 24 hours busy with seva, either mentally, physically, all the time, thinking about Bhagavan, walking down the street, doing something, always thinking. That is called, he is engaged in bhajan all the 24 hours. Popat wanted to say, Popat wanted to say, I can take, I like to take shelter unto the lotus feet of such a guru who is always all the 24 hours engaged in Hari Bhajan. 
where you can find? You have your eyes. We are blind. In front of us, Guru Vaishnav there. Who is there? Nothing. Nothing. Useless. We are blind. That guy, we cannot see. Maya Devi is going to make us blind. We cannot see. Who is all the 24 hours busy to do Seva, Bhagavan, always engaged? Papa speaking, he is Siddha Mahatma. Siddha doesn't mean he can show some magic. Chew. Some magic, you know? Magic, you know? Magic, something is not there. You can see. Cha, something here. It is called magic. It is not Siddhi. Somebody think it is called Siddhi. Some yogi, gani, they have some Siddhi. Ah, going to, this, is not, this, this is not actually Bhakti. This is not actually Bhakti. That's why Guru Vaishnava always careful. They never ask anything from Bhagavan. Never. They never ask anything from Bhagavan. They don't like to get anything. Only they like to get. They like to get Bhakti. But our formula, in our material world, what is our formula? Money begets money. Time is money. It is our formula, na? What is our formula in the material world? Ah, Maharaj, time is money. And money begets money. But Prabhupada speaking, Prabhupada speaking, time is Paramartha. Time is Paramartha, time is not money. Who told you time is money? Time is Paramartha. If we lose one second in our life without bhajan, that is our loss. If we miss 10 minutes, due to some asasanga, if I miss 10 minutes in my life, that is my great loss. Who knows, within that 10 minutes gapping, I can die. So, those who are pure Vaishnav, even asasanga coming in front of them, they know the technique. How to convert this asasanga into satsanga. That day, I was speaking to one small devotee. 16 years devotee is staying in Gosala. Without permission, Mara, I can stay with you. I'll come. Where well, I can, you cannot get my dust. I'm busy with Seva. Yesterday I was speaking online, Harikatha. First two hours, Bengali, after that Hindi. Within that period, one master of one school, unnecessary coming. He knows I'm busy. He coming and sitting with that young. I'm speaking the technique. I'm going to take speak in the technique. Not the history. A small devotee, 16 years, you know, I am very angry if somebody is going to go, so I am going to gossip something, material talking. But what to do? The honorable master coming, he is sitting in the room and uh, talking with master for two hours, three or four hours. When I come down and coming here to take bath and come here, I say, when you come master, well, 8.30, why you come? Whereas you know, that master who used that, you know, in Kichiri. In Kichiri, that applied. I was very happy, very angry with him. Foolish. Eh? You have no right to break breath of somebody. Anyway, what to do? I say, why you are coming? 8.30, you know I am busy for four, five years. Oh, I come here. I know you are coming to give proxy to me. I got to give proxy because he's going to win the one, not attending Harikatha. So that I can feel he is love me. That's why coming to give some time in Gosala. They, they cannot make fool of me. If I look at anyone, they understand. <laughs> then after that, that Master gone, I speak to, the, to that young devotee, I'm mean 16 years. What you are doing for four hours? Well, my, he is uh, talking with me. Why? You know the technique, there is online Harikatha. When master coming, you have the right to speak. No, well, now online Harikatha going. We can open the mobile, you sit. We can discuss the Harikatha. Why not you apply? Oh, Maharaj, that was my mistake for me. So that is a technique. You could speak easily. He is coming okay. You need not drive him out. But you have the technique. You know, you have a mobile. You open the Harikatha. Oh, and now Harikatha going. Don't talk. You can hear with full attention. You could avoid, but you are foolish. He could not avoid. That is the technique. So, Pohupad, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Keshavma, Sridharma, they know the technique. How to convert, how to convert even Asasanga into Satsanga. 
they have the power, that much power. So, now Prahlad Maharaj praying unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you are already, you are, you are itself complete. You are itself complete. But if something like to give you something, if something, if somebody like to give you something, he become very happy. We have seen in the life of Guru Maharaj. Somebody going to give something. Ah, what you bring? Give, give, give to me. After that, Guru Maharaj will say, you keep it. And give to For the satisfaction. Follow. So, Bhagavan not depending upon us, that I can give something to Bhagavan, then Bhagavan can take something and try to protect his own body, not that. Bhagavan itself complete. But what to do? Bhagavan coming here to help us. We are bonded soul. We have no connection with that infinity Bhagavan, a tiny soul. How to connect? So that's why Bhagavan coming in the form of Guru Vaishnava, like human being, traveling and uh, you know, talking with us, helping us this way, just like human being, just like sleeping, eating, everything, just like, but not like human being, but like human being. So, Pralatma speaking, Prabhu, you are satisfied yourself. We need not give anything to you, because you are complete. You are complete. But still, if somebody like to give you something, suppose somebody like to offer garland to Nishingadev. Nishingadev can feel lucky that that devotee giving me garland, nobody giving me garland, so I am very lucky. Somebody giving me garland. Not that. We are giving garland to Nishingadev for our own benefit. What will go and come if I give garland to Nishingadev are not going to give garland? It is the arrangement. Palladma speaking, Prabhu, if somebody is going to give something to you, you are saying, give, give, give. Because to help him to come up, that's why you say, give, give. What do you bring for me? <laughs> like Mahaprabhu, for Mahaprabhu, all devotee, somebody is going to uh, get some fry, fried nut, somebody going to some preparation of coconut. Oh, what do you bring from me? I coconut this. Mahaprabhu become very happy. This kind of arrangement, Bhagavan purposely keep it. So that bonded soul can get the scope to come up. They are in bonded condition. Like you are very angry. I put one mirror in front of you. When you become angry, I put one mirror in front of you. Then you see your face. Ah. Then your angry attitude can come down. Same thing. Mahaprabhu in Gambira Mandir, Gambira Mandir, always crying, always a paining, you know, always pain, uh, you know, uh, tears rolling down his cheeks. Eh? Then Rai Ramananda Sarvadamada speaking Harikatha. Mahaprabhu speaking, what is the mood of Radharani that time? Eh? Can you imagine? Mahaprabhu speaking, when they are speaking Harikatha and Kirtan, Mahaprabhu speaking, Inconceivable. That time, what was the mood of Radharani? Condition of Radharani? Radhavanda Sarupdhavanda asking, Do you like to see the mood of Radharani? Yes, I like to see. How you can see? Sarupdhavanda going and getting one mirror and putting in front of Mahaprabhu. You see the mood of Radharani. <laughs> Prabhu became very angry. Take the mirror and throw. Huh? I am sannyasi. You foolish. Sannyasi should not see his own face in mirror. You are putting mirror in front of you. You are joking. I cannot stay here. Prabhu, you wanted to see the mood of Radharani. What to do? This is a fact. I was bound to keep the mirror in front of you. Because you are Radharani. But Mahaprabhu become very angry. Don't speak like that. I am bonded soul. I am doing bhanjan, sannyasi. How dare you speak like this? Huh? You should not speak like that. This is the mood. So, Pulladma speaking, if somebody is going to do something to you, it is, just, it is just like, it is just like if you put mirror in front of you, 
if I put mirror in front of you, whatever my face and everything activities, mirror can show, or whatever you are doing, whatever mood is there, mirror can show. Pollagma is speaking same thing. To do something from Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan means to put mirror in front of you. You can see your own face. Your mood is very happy. You like to give something for Gurudev or Bhagavan. So accordingly your heart can change. So you can see, Palladma speaking, it is, it is just like, it is just like putting one mirror in front of yourself. It's like that. Naivat mano prabhu rayam nijalaba purno. Prabhu Bhagavan is satisfied himself. Nobody need to give it. Madhavandhu Puripad, even not asking rice, chapati, even not milk. Madhavandhu Puripad, only drinking milk, but provided if somebody giving milk without any demand. Sitting here. Somebody going with me. You take this milk. Then offer to this milk. So they are satisfied. Without prasadam, without sleeping, they are satisfied all the time. How? Because they are in connection with Supreme Lord. We will have to extend, we will have to extend our teeny heart. We will have to extend our teeny heart up to infinity. We will have to extend our teeny heart. Our heart is this. There are our children, husband and my family members, father, mother, that much accommodation can be there. But Parampuja Madhukusi, my heart is so great, if the whole world coming, Madhukusi, I can embrace them. Ah, come, come, come. Everybody, we can adjust here. Where a rich man, if somebody comes, no place, go, don't disturb me. With AC, glass room, going to enjoy. Whereas when Sadhu, if somebody got them, well, too much rain and coat, come here, I have one blanket, another blanket I will give to you. There is a mood, difference of mood between one pure sah sadhu and material people. That is a difference. Nothing else. People think wrong way. They don't understand the mood of Guru Vishnu. Most of the time, they misunderstand Guru Vishnu. So, naivatpana pavurayam nijalava purna. Any kind of honor we are giving to Guru Vaishnava, any kind of honor we are going to give Bhagavan, we are going to get the return. Yes or not? Yes or not? If I am going to love Bhagavan, then you are love me, you are going to love me? Otherwise, who going to who care to love me? All over the world, people coming to take the lotus. Darshan of the lotus feet of Siddhar Goswami Bhakti Bhakti Why? They are crazy. They are spending 80,000, 1 lakh, 2 lakh, spending money coming here. They are crazy? No, they are not crazy. They are going to give honor to Guru Vaishnava and surely they are going to get the return. Return they can get. My Guru Maha love Krishna, love Bhagavan Gauranga, so much love. That's why outside world also love him. You know, great devotee, love him. This way, Bhagavan like to give return. Big problem. So, naivatpana pavurayam nijalava purno manam janad avidusho. Those were ignorant people. Nish Prahladma speaking, those were innocent people, ignorant. They have no eye. Ignorant means not that, not that they have no material education. Medical, material education is there. Maybe they are efficacious, London, or making some doctorate, doing some research. Can be there. Prahladma speaking, not speaking. Ignorant means they are ignorant about Atma Tattva. They don't know who they are. Who are you? When you can get the answer, when you can get the answer, who are you, then all problems solved. So long as you are not going to get the answer, perfect answer, who are you? Till then there is problem, particular, fighting. <laughs> like I told na, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, so many devotees, they never thought it necessary to make an organization because they are already organized. Or each and every, each and every devotee, all their target is to satisfy Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from heart. So they are 
center point of life. Or the center point of their life is same. Same, na? If your center point of life is to satisfy Gauranga, if my center point, uh, center point of life is to satisfy Gauranga, then you can coincide, coincide, no problem. If your desire is to get some pratishtha, and my desire is to do Gauranga, then intersect. They can, you can attack me. That is the same problem happening in each and every society. They have some individual, they have some individual interest. That's why nobody can tell you with Bhakti Siddhanta. Nobody. Nobody can tell Bhakti Shri. Because they have some personal interest. They openly write that our society interest is different from the interest of Gauriamat, interest of Prabhupada, the Prabhupada. It's true. That's why fighting taking place. Otherwise, what are if you like to do bhajan of Gauranga, I am doing bhajan. I am not going to ask any money and position anybody. So why fighting can take place? Why you can fight me? I want nothing from you. I am under the guidance of Guru Vishnu, Guru Bhargava. I am doing my bhajan. You are also doing bhajan. There is no question of any fighting. Fighting can take place when you have some separate interests and I have some separate. That fighting. Collusion. Like one compass, if you take in a paper, one pencil or pen, you are going to make some circle this way. Geometry. And you are going to make countless circle by increasing and decreasing the diameter. Little. Countless circle you can do. Same center point is same. Center point is same. You are going to draw. But whenever you are going to little bit you will displace your center point. Now at present your center point is displaced. Or maybe point 0.1 millimeter. Then if you draw a circle, then going to intersect the all, all other circle. But if center point is same, no question of inter no circle, no circle can intersect the other circle. No circle can intersect the other circle. No problem. But whenever center point is displaced, that is the same point in our whole devotional world, all over the world. Same spiritual crisis. Spiritual crisis, all over the world, same. Everybody has some same They like to do something for their day, for themselves, of their society. That is a problem. Creating. So actually, the day you can get the answer, perfect answer. The day you can get the perfect answer, answer, who am I? The day, the day you can get the exact answer, who am I? All problem finish. Because if you can discover who are you, then also you can discover your duty. Don't understand. Suppose, for the past one or two years, you are in coma, coma state. You forget everything due to some plane accident, something. Suppose, after two years, somehow repeated treatment, treatment, you give, get back your, get back your memory. Get back your memory. Your daughter is there. You love your daughter very much. You love your wife, but you cannot remember. Your consciousness is gone. By chance, after a long time, you get back your consciousness. I mean, memory coming back. Whenever you are going to get back your memory, instant, within fraction of second, you can discover your duty, that you have your duty for your daughter. Instant, in the meantime, instant, fraction of second, the moment you discover, ah, I am the father of the daughter. Father of the daughter, I have my duty. You can remember your duty. The day you can remember that you are the you are the servant of Krishna. The day and the moment, immediately, I have no other duty. I have no other duty. I have to serve Krishna only. Only my duty is only to serve Krishna. All problems solved. But problem is not solved because we don't know who we are. We are taking tilak, mala, taking diksha, everything, all we are doing, external, external exhibition, all appropriate. But internal, all 
not perfect. That's why all problem, all fighting, doubts and suspicion, so many things. Actually, Tattogyan, I need not buy, I need not buy Tattogyan from America. I need not buy Tattogyan from Brazil. Tattogyan already there. Tattogyan, you know, self-knowledge. Tattogyan, already there in me. I need not buy from Africa, Russia, France, Italy. No, it's already there in you. But you will have to discover it. Everything there. But you do, you, ah, like foolish. Ah, what I can do this? They don't know. Already there in you. Only the thing, what you mean by bhajan, bhajan means you will have to discover it. Bhajan means only you will have to discover your position. That you have to discover. After that, all problems solved. Because I many times I told, Atma, Atma means spirit. Atma is Ganamoy, Ganamoy, full of knowledge, self-knowledge. Atma is full of knowledge, Ganamoy, Prakasma, self-effulgence. Atma is self-effulgence. So Atma, Ganamoy, Prakashmoy, Anandamoy. You are searching Ananda outside. You are going hotel, restaurant, here, there, to find Ananda. Are foolish, Ananda, there he knew. Overflowing. You can, someday if you, if you realize, they are overflowing Ananda. Why devotees, why devotees, whole world coming? Because they are overflowing Ananda. They like to distribute an Ananda. They like to distribute. Ananda is overflowing. So also Ananda is there in you, but you cannot discover. So Atma, is full of Ganamoy, Prakashmoy, Anandamoy, all is there. Only the thing, you will have to discover it. Anyway, I have to start, you know, all I am speaking about the teachings of Goranga Mahaprabhu from our last discussion in Purushottam Brato. Continuously for the past Kartik Mas, after that Purushottam, now or same topics going on, the last teachings, the last teachings of, the last teachings of Krishna to Uddhavji Maharaj. We are discussing so many things, very, very secret thing. So now last, I, I like to li I go a little bit back. Because if I don't give, go back a little bit back, then you cannot remember. So a little bit back, I like to go back. So anyway, Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving, Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving absolute teachings. Absolute teachings mean Bhagavad Dharma. Absolute teachings is nothing. As Bhagavad Dharma is absolute teaching. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving absolute teachings to Uddhavji Maharaj. I like to remind you what was the idea of Krishna. Krishna speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav. I like to go with you. I cannot stay with you without you. I cannot bear your Uddhav, you love me, na? Yes, I love you. You love? I love you, really. So if you love me, what I speak, what I give order, you will have to carry out. Not that you can go with me. If I don't like you, go with me, then it is not bhajan. I already told what Krishna like, that is called bhajan. What you like is Maya. <laughs> what you like is Maya. What Krishna like, Krishna likes is by. I have to obey that. So Uddhav crying heavily. In my whole life, I cannot even in dream can stay without you. How you can say you can I can stay, you can leave me here. You will have to stay here. Oh, I cannot stay, I cannot be here. You will have to stay here, Uddhav. Why you like to give me this kind of punishment? Not punishment. After I go away from this material world, after I go away from this material world, all Kali, Kali can come and make big problem. So, somebody has to stay there with all my Siddhanta Vishar. That is you. I like to make you Acharya. And you are crying. I like to make you Acharya. I like to keep you here. I like to keep you here in this material world so that you can represent me because I am going away. They like to stay here and you can, uh, you can teach people. 
You can teach people. But you are crying. So if you love me, somebody thinking to somebody some police people, they think to change the cloth of to change the cloth of Gurudev to wash the cloth of Gurudev is uh, I am doing Guru Seva. Somebody thinking I am I am cooking for Gurudev. I am doing Guru Seva. I am Guru Seva na? Yes, you are going Guru Seva. But they don't know the inner meaning of Guru Seva. Inner meaning of Guru Seva means you will have to search out the heart of Gurudev. What Gurudev like, you will have to fulfill it. Like every time you are doing bandana, you are you are doing na namo om Vishnu padayo gaura prasthayo bhutale shimateva. Yeah, that means prasthayo means a very near and dear one. Eh? Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutali. What do you mean by this Sanskrit? Very plain. If you don't understand Sanskrit, still you can hear. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutali. Mean? What was the desire of Chaitanya Mapo? It was established by Rupa Goswami Paz, Vanagos, all there. All, everybody, they are trying. In different way, according to the desire of Bhagavan. A slok is for Rupa Goswami path, but Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sapitam, you know. But we are speaking in mantra. Nama Am Vishnu Badayo, Gaura Peshtayo, Bhutale, Simate, Bhakti Bhamadaya. We are speaking, actually, they all are coming to fulfill the desire of Gauranga. Gauranga can have some desire, yes, transcendental desire. Gurudev can have, trans Gurudev can have transcendental desire. Vaishnavas can have desire. Desire must be, but transcendental desire, or prakita desire. Not like you and me, material desire. I can make some building, ACDC, car, not that. <laughs> All desire is there. Their desire is a prakita desire. So, they are coming to, to establish all the acharan, idealism, siddhanta, vichar, everything in the material world means they like to preach by by doing acharan themselves. If I myself are not doing acharan, my harikatha cannot give you a result. If myself I am not doing and I'm only I am passing lecture, then surely you cannot feel power. And if I am doing what I am speaking, that I am following, then you can feel some power, some heart. After hearing harikatha, you can feel some power. That is a, that is a Siddhanta Vichar. Nobody can make fool of you. After hearing for, after hearing for a long time, if somebody like to make fool of you, and successful to make you fool, then you are not hearing Harikatha properly. How possible? Hearing Harikatha means you can develop your consciousness. Why you are going to involve in a party color? Hare? Why you are busy? Your life is short, very short. You are going to waste your time. Why not do you follow that absolute idealism shown by, by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami by Bhakti Mandir. Why you are going to involve in particle? Just wastage of time, you can lose everything. Unnecessary. We, we should, first of all, we should stand in a neutral platform. That is the first point. But everybody fail you. If I ask you to stand on a neutral platform, cannot do. They love me. They are passing such a remark, you hear from him. They pass, send some remark about me. I don't like to hear, I do and close eyes. After that, when they hear some tough Siddhanta Bishar, they become angry with me. Ah, you are speaking this way. Throw me. This is their devotional life. They are passing such remark, even I cannot speak to you. I feel shy. That kind of topmost title they like to give me. But when they hear my Harikatha, after hearing absolute Siddhanta Vichar, some biasness was there. Surely, surely, I am sure, 100%, there was, there was some biasness in him. That biasness is going to stop him. They throw me. This is their devotional life. I love. 
If whole life, whole world going to subscribe me or whole world going to leave me, I don't care. Same position. Same thing I can go on speaking. So, what I was speaking, Atma Tattva was already there. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, well, Uddhav, you will have to stay here. I cannot stay. Without him, you will have to stay here. I like to keep you, I like to keep you as my representative. Who else? Who else? I see no, nobody here. You are the suitable personality. So you have to, I like to make you Acharya. You have to stay here. Oh, it's impossible for me. You have to obey my. So we think, washing clothes of Gurudev is, I am, I am doing Guru Seva. I am cooking for Gurudev, it is for Guru Seva. But they have no information. What is the exact meaning of Guru Seva? Guru Seva means, by your absolute devotion, you will have to search out the heart of Gurudev. What you want to do? If you understand the heart of Gurudev, according to that you will have to do. Vishwanath Chakudeva writing so many things, I have no time. Vishwanath Chakudeva writing, and our Guru Bhargava also used to make a nice story. <laughs> if some disciple going to Gurudev speaking, hey, you do it. Oh, yes, yes, I can do. And other devotees, if you Gurudev speaking, you can go there, do this. You, you bring this. He is going to give order to another devotee. A Gurudev asking this thing. Be, uh, Gurudev asking, the, better you can go and bring this thing from market. Gurudev giving order to him. He is giving order to somebody, delegation of authority. <laughs> he going he, this way. And some devotee, if Gurudev giving, giving order, they are going to carry on. If Gurudev not giving order, not doing anything. Some devotee is there without asking. Gurudev not speaking. Disciple can understand the mood of Gurudev. That is called topmost Guru Seva. That is called topmost Guru Seva. But people have no idea. Gurudev not speaking. But disciple understand, like Gosai Maharaj. Even before speaking anything, Gosai Maharaj can understand. Even before speaking anything, Keshav Gosai Maharaj can understand what Prabhupada wants to say. Before speaking, not giving any order, they understand. They are doing a Bon Gosai Maharaj. Even before giving order, they understand. Doing accordingly. One or two examples, if I give you, you can go mad. One day, one message, telegram, because on those days, on those, those days, there are no mobile, nothing, no computer. So, some message coming later. Even telegram was not there. After the telegram was there, one letter came, painful letter. For Binod, Binod Babu, Binod Bin, Parame Kesho Gosima. That time, he was Brahmachari, Popat, going to receive that letter and you read that letter, oh, dangerous. A mother of Pinot Bihari is very sick. Immediately, he should go to home to give last, last darshan to ma, ma, mother. Then Popa speaking to some uh, devotee, you, br you bring Binod Babu, you, bin you bring Binod Babu immediately to me. Binod Babu busy with Seva whole day. Popat calling you. Popat calling me? Now? Yes. Now at least you will go. Oh, really? After they're leaving all seva, running to Popat, paying plastered door. Popat, you call me? Yes. There is some sad news for you. You will have to go to home immediately. Why? Your mother is very sick. She like to see you. Immediately. You go immediately. Immediately you pack your luggage and go to meet your with mother. Keshav Goswami not speaking anything, paying dandavat to paying dandavat and going away. Whole day doing seva, not going to home. In the evening time, when arati is going on, 
Then Popat watching Binodha is already Binod Babu is already there in and Arati. After Arati over, is calling Binod, Binod, Binod Prabhu, you are not going to home. I told you to go. You are not going? Why not going? Then Binod the brushed into tears and speaking, Prabhupada, you like to test me? You like to test me how much love I have for you? You like to test my sincerity? Then why you are speaking this way? Surely you are testing me. But I know your heart, I know your heart not giving permission to me to go to home. To understand? One example is more than Savi. I know your heart not going to give permission to me to go to home. But you are going to test me. Go to home. Go to home. Your mother is very sick. That is the heart of personal associate of Srila Prabhupada. They can realize. They can realize. Even uh, Prabhupada is not speaking. Prabhupada is going to cheat him. But they realize the heart of Prabhupada. That is called genuine seva. So, Uddhav is genuine seva, no doubt in it. Uddhav is genuine, but still too much, too much attachment from Bhagavan. Ah, it's good. If I am developing attachment from my wife and husband, <laughs> children is good, bad. But if I am going to develop attachment from Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava, good symptom. But still, Bhagavan says, you, you have to carry out my order. You like to go with me? You like to seek your own satisfaction? You like to seek your own satisfaction. I say we have to stay. So you have to stay here. Well, and then Uddha speaking, okay, I like to hear all Atma Tattva, Bhagavat Tattva from you. You already know Bhagavat. No, I like to hear from you. I like to hear from you. know already. No, I like to hear from you. Before you go away, you speak me. That is, the, that is called the last teachings of Bhagavan Sri Krishna Uddhavji. That is the last teaching. Uddhav sitting in front of Krishna and Krishna go on speaking. Different kind of question Uddhavji is putting in front of Uddhavji Maharaj putting in front of Krishna because Krishna now acting as Guru. Krishna now acting as Guru, na? Krishna acting as Guru in front of Arjun in the battlefield. Krishna is Supreme Lord, but still Krishna is Guru. Because we know the slok, Krishnam, ban, Krishnam Bande Jagat Guru. We know the slok, Krishnam Bande Jagat Guru. Krishna is Guru, but still Krishna not acting as Guru. Krishna not giving initiation to anyone. Krishna like to arrange the initiation procedure through Balaram, Guru, Parampara. Krishna usually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu don't like to be. It is, it is not the duty. It is not a duty of Krishna to give in It is not a duty of Gauranga Mahapodhi. It is a duty of Nithana. You can find so many disciples of Nithana. Gauranga Mahapodhi. It is a duty of Balara. But still, Krishna or Gauranga Mahapodhi is the original Guru. It's right. It's true. Because from Krishna everything comes. It's also right. Okay. So before going away, so before going away from this material world, Uddhaji Maharaj cannot bear the separation of Krishna, but still you have to bear. Going, speaking, and different kind of question, speaking. And now, in this 12th chapter, Bhagavan speaking about pure devotional mood of devotees. Devotional, different, because if there is countless devotees, if there is countless devotees in the society of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Gauranga Samaj, we are speaking, actually Gauranga Mahaprabhu never meant it, Bhakti Mata was speaking, Gauranga Samaj. Gauranga Samaj, Bhakti Mata, this word, this word, particular word, Bhakti Mata used to apply in his writing. Gauranga Samaj. Samaj means society. But not like your, your conception or not that. Gauranga Samaj, Bhakti Mata used to write in Sajjan Toshani. You heard the name? Sajjan Toshani. Nodiya Prakash. Sajjan Toshani. There, Bhakti Mata sometimes used to apply this word. 
Follow. Gauranga Samaj. But Gauranga Samaj, when Bhakti Vinodha was speaking, that doesn't mean your conception on my case I'm going to tally with us. <laughs> Not that. Even there is no heaven and hell difference, infinite difference. Because some important personality in our society, not as per the estimation of devotees, is very important in the society. He is speaking someday, he is speaking someday to Bhakti Mir Thakur. Bhakti Mir Thakur, we can allow everybody, we can, every, we can allow everybody in Gauranga Bhajan, so much restriction. Why? No need of any restriction, we can allow everybody. After that, automatically survival of the fittest formula can be applied. They cannot stay, they can go away. So at present we can allow everybody in Gauranga Bhajan. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur said, no. No, you are wrong. We cannot allow each and everybody in Gauranga Bhajan. Because they can contaminate, they can pass some urine and stool, urine and stool in the Nam Hatta. Nam Hatta, where pure reward is speaking Harikatha Kirtan. That is called Nam Hatta. Bhakti Mahatma I cannot allow those rascal people to come and pass urine and stool in Nam Hatta. I cannot allow people to, to and, uh, make dirty. So, Bhakti Mahatma used to say, better my Gosala can stay without Gomata. Better my Gosala can stay without any Gomata eh? rather, rather than all wicked Gomata kicking, fighting, you know, I cannot allow those Gomata to stay in my Goshala. Those are obedient Gomata, very tranquil, very fine, I cannot allow them. Bhakti Mahatma speak, giving this answer. Better my Goshala, I can keep it back end. I cannot allow those. No, no, useless cow. I cannot allow. That's mean. Bhakti Minutaku never wanted to allow those useless material people. Of course, if they like to come and do bhajan, that is different. If they are developing Atma Jigasa, if they are going to develop Atma Jigasa self inquiry, if at all they are going to develop self inquiry in their life, okay, then you can come. We can test you. Your self inquiry is perfect or not, or your kapa then I can drive you. Because it is a judgment given by Sanatana Goswami Path in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Nobody is going to follow. Bhakti Mahatma speaking. Bhakti Mahatma is going to express deep concern. Dr. Bhakti Mahatma speaking. Everything written there in Hari Bhakti Vilas, nobody cares. Bhakti Mahatma, I can show you. I can show you in Upadesham the commentary. Regarding this matter, making disciple or disciple or guru, all judgment, all procedures are written by Sanatana Goswami, but nobody care to follow. Bhakti Mahatma was writing. Nobody care to follow. Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, that is the reason, that is the reason, that is the only reason for why we are going to invite some stool and urine, monkey and donkey, we are going to come, come, come. This is the position of Gauriya Bhajan. If the question of quality, Bhakti Mahatma was speaking, if the question of quality is thrown away, Bhakti Mahatma speaking, if at all the question of quality is thrown away, then everything can come to zero level. You should maintain your standard in your educational institution. You should maintain standard in your research institute. You should maintain your standard in political level. If not, then all society can become like the society of monkey and donkey. This is the condition. Quality judgment must be there. Hey? Quality I cannot see. You are qualified to do Gauriyang Vajan or not. We cannot see. What is this? We can see. But sometimes some miracle can happen. Sometimes a miracle can happen. Like Rashikananda Prabhu can convert the heart of a mad elephant. That is a rare case. Sometimes it happens so. Sometimes it can happen so. The mad elephant, totally mad. Rashikananda Prabhu is going to change the heart of mad elephant. And going to give Harinam, Harinam to that elephant. 
is possible. Gauranga Mahapur going through forest or tiger, lion or dead dancing, a rare case. It's a rare case as well. So, some miracle can happen. Like Prabhupada, Bhakti Thakur, some miracle can happen all of That is not standard. That is not standard. That is not your stick. We cannot seek that it, this should be one scale of judgment or your stick because that happened that time. I don't know. That is a rare case. Like Janamba Mata Thakurani can act as Achari. A rare case. Ganga Mata Thakurani. A rare case. That doesn't mean all Matajis can act as Achari. Hari? Whereas in Manu Sangita, in Manu Sangita, I can show you, in Manu Sangita, Manu Maharaj is speaking. Those Matajis, they should be under the control of one very nice husband. Very. They should be under control of father, mother, a brother, husband, a writing. But at present society, they are going to misinterpret. They like to give some provocative speech. They are going to give pass some provocative speech so, so, so that so woman, those matajis can become angry. But this is, no question, this is not the question of angry attitude. Question of love. I love them. So I'll have to speak them the absolute truth, na? I love you mean I cannot misguide you, na? I love you mean I love you mean what is the symptom? That's it. Symptom mean I am not going to misguide you. I can beat you, I can chide you because I love you. Love doesn't mean I can misguide you. You can go to some other place. It's called it's called enemy. Papa speaking, those who are those who are misguiding disciple, Papa speaking, those who are mis misguiding disciple, they are the enemy of those disciples. Those foolish disciples, they cannot understand, my Gurudev is my enemy, number one enemy. My Gurudev is number one enemy in my life, because he is not going to speak the absolute truth. He is misguiding me. But people have no information. All busy with some particle or this, that. Oh, they are cheated. What to do? Rare, somehow, by the exclusive, by the exclusive mercy of Gauranga, Nityananda, they can get the chance to hear absolute truth. Otherwise, most of the people, out of 100%, 99.9% people are misguided. All over the world. I can speak in Basasan with full power. I am not speaking lie. 99.99% people are cheated. Very rare people. Confidence I have, no? That's what speaking. So, Bhagavan speaking, you will have to care. If you love me, then you will have to carry out my order. You will have to stay at my place. So, you will have to speak Harikatha. I mean, Tattva You know Tattva. No, you will have to speak again. Okay, well, you sit. Then Bhagavan speaking, went on speaking. I was uh, you know, speaking so many things, all gone. Previous Harikatha, you can go from the beginning and you can have no time to. So Bhagavan now going to what is the what is the what is the secret idea of Bhagavan? Actually, what Bhagavan like to do? Uddhav is in confusion. Uddhav is very knowledgeable personality. What you like to do? Now you are speaking. You can obey me. Uh, previously you told you were to obey all scriptural analysis. Now you are speaking this. So I am in confusion. What to do? What is the actual mood? What is the what is the actual motive of what is the actual motive of Krishna? You know? You know what is the actual motive of Krishna? First of all, Krishna likes to appoint Uddhavji as the Acharya for this material. It's okay. But another secret idea there. Krishna is not going to speak in front of Uddhav, but secretly doing. What is that? Uddhav is my near and dear one. If my Guru Maharaj love me, if my, if my Guru Maharaj love me, surely Guru Maharaj cannot give me property. Follow. If my Guru Maharaj love me from heart, surely Guru Maharaj cannot cheat me by giving me property. Not. Guru Maharaj can give me such property which dockoids cannot come, which thief cannot steal, that property. So, Bhagavan love Uddha very much. Not only love, Bhagavan speaking, Uddhav and I myself non-different. Ah, non-different? Yes. 
Who is Uddhav? He is Krishna. Who is Krishna? He is Uddhav. <laughs> Uddhav is looking like Krishna. Uddhav is looking like, it's okay. But at the same time, Bhagavan Sri is speaking. No Uddhapa Anuopi Mannuno. No Uddhapa Anuopi Mannuno. Even by the slightest difference on molecule or atom, that much differences are not there between me and Uddhav. Follow. That much even the I mean, who is Krishna? Krishna says, who is I am as a is Uddha. That that kind of love is there. So Krishna wanted to give that secret property to Uddhav. What is the secret property? That is called Gopi Prem. But not speaking clearly to Uddhav. Uddhav is in confusion. Tomorrow I can discuss about the secret point. You can enjoy. What is the mood of Krishna? Now I cannot continue I have to run there. <laughs> anyway, so. Naivat Mano Prabhu Rayam Nijalab Purno Manam Jana Davidu Shokaruno Binite Jajaj Jano Bhagavate Bidadhi Tomanam Tachat Mane Pratimukosha Jata Mukosri One Chakal Patrushiki Pass in the Bhavisha Patitanan Pabonepo Vishna Pyo Namo Very interesting. You can forget your life. You stay with me. Don't go. <laughs> All of you stay with me. I can also enjoy. <laughs> but what to do? Maya Devi arranged just opposite. 